The following program was produced by the United States Courts. There were many times where I thought I didn't have enough money for food, I, didn't, I wasn't going to get the A in the class that I needed to get, but I just kept thinking about the end goal of wanting to become a lawyer and wanting to make a difference in someone's life. I was born in East Los Angeles, California. I'm one of seven children. We grew up in a very small apartment, two bedrooms. My parents, although they were born in the United States, they really didn't have access to education. My father went up to the fifth grade and my mother went up to the ninth grade. And they had to work out in the fields in order to make a living for their own families. So in my family, graduating from high school was the goal. When I went into high school, I took the SATs not even knowing what it was. I knew that everybody else was taking them. I didn't, I got my scores, I looked at them, I had no idea what they meant, and I went on my merry way until a counselor called me in to say, you really do well in school and you've done well on the SATs and maybe you should think about college. I thought about it, but then I didn't do anything about it because what I wanted to do was get my own apartment, have a job, have a little bit of money, and that's exactly what I did. So after high school, I didn't go to college, although I, I did apply right away, and I went the year after. I went to UCLA, which is a public school. I lived on my own. I had a job throughout. I supported myself. I went on to law school because, for me, the law was an important part of our society. Growing up in a poor environment, I saw the importance of the legal process. The key to any success is education. But you have to have the drive to see that through. With that in mind, counsel, you may proceed. My story is not unusual. I am not the rare commodity out there.